Mike, it's so, so nice to have you here. Thank you for joining our webinar today. Thank you very much. No problem. Pleasure. So um, for, for anybody watching today, and for any of you that might not know, um, Mike is a very, very special guest. Um, Mike is actually a previous client of ours that we had reached a really successful settlement for. Now, Mike had a property out in Cyprus, and I believe, Mike, it was in the Pathos region? Yes, correct, yeah, Clorica in Pathos. And when was it that you purchased the property, Mike? Um, I purchased the property in um, 2005. Mm -hmm. um, and um, do you want me to name the developers in the bank? Um, no, that's okay. No, you don't have to do that. It's fine. Um, okay. So one, one of the main reasons, Mike, that we have you on today is obviously, you know, as we always say, you know, it's such an emotive subject and people they do feel like they've been wronged and what we always try to do is just always let people know that they're not alone in the situation there are others that have faced and are facing the type of issues that you did face and there are always always options so I think I'd like to begin by sort of asking you what what was it you know that you were experiencing the type of issues and when did you know that it was time to seek help? Um, it was clear from day one, from taking delivery of the um, of the property back in two thousand and five. Um, all of a sudden, I seen um, uh, the, the developers in the bank in different in a different light, um, and it got to a stage where, despite uh, much uh, communication, a lot of communication between all three stakeholders, including myself, um, I could clear there wasn't any uh, any any future with with the property. Um, and it come to a point where, um, despite constant um, re um, remortgaging mm -hmm. and speaking to um, and getting involved with um, communities that were all in the same um, in the same boat, uh -huh. it, uh, and taking advice from uh, barristers, we knew that despite all that there was still no uh, light at the end of the tunnel. Mm -hmm. uh, and, it, and it wasn't until uh, my wife came across EU property solutions. I can, I, for this day, we can't remember where we saw where mm -hmm. we saw where we saw you. That's when we we engaged with um, EU property solutions and uh, the rest is history. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And then would you say whenever you obviously had tried to make contact yourself, it was very hard, obviously, to try and get anything back. As, as you said, you know, even whenever you reached out to the communities and stuff, you just felt like you weren't getting anything back. That's whenever you yeah. knew them. Yeah, we knew. We knew um, definitely. They they did. Uh, they did play ball to start with. Um, um, I, we found as soon as uh, money um, changed hands with them, um, they they treated us as second class citizens, really, with regards mm -hmm. to any plans or attempts to try to improve the situation um, mm -hmm. they uh, we found that the bank were really really rude and arrogant and ignorant with us um, they just pushed us really really um, pushed us to the limit mm -hmm. and the developers were kind of um, shrugging their shoulders as they do and mm -hmm. just saying you decided to buy in cyprus it's your problem um, mm -hmm. and it was a problem a big problem which the bank and the developers didn't seem to care too much about. Mm -hmm. And at that time, were you living out in Cyprus or were you traveling to and from the UK? So, so speaking to a lot, lot of different people, we were in a quite a uh, unique um, situation. I was actually working um, and living in Cyprus at the time. So um, from 2005 onwards to around about 2010, I was actually living in my property. So we kind of... The um, the problems, even though they were being exacerbated whilst we're living there, they really didn't come to fruition until we actually left the property. Okay. But whilst living in the property, uh, we benefited from obviously you know owning the property. Mm -hmm. um, so we uh, we moved back to the UK in 2013 with my job. Um, so we had, should I say it, delight of. Mm -hmm. um, uh, living, living in the property and renting the property out mm -hmm. um, and when we come back to the UK in 2013 um, that's when things really really um, took its toll. Yeah absolutely and then whenever you re had reached out to EU Property Solutions then 
what was it about you know our company that made you and your wife feel like this is the route that we want to go down and we think that these people can really help us um right from the start really initial initial telephone call um uh, i can't again i can't remember who it was mm -hmm. a really, really nice chap um he really made us feel at ease um there was no pressure it wasn't a pressure sale um it's he, he allowed us and permitted us to contact you know other people that were um were successful with eu property solutions um we felt as if um I know I hate to say it, but we just thought, you know, are we going to be scammed again by another company? Because everyone we've dealt with um, just literally, um, you know, want to just take our money, not mm -hmm. no real interest in what we what we're trying to achieve. Mm -hmm. um, but from day one, we felt at ease and the, the staffing, the staff work and the communications between EU Pop Solutions and ourselves was was enough for us to commit to them um looking after our case mm -hmm. okay so in terms of really really interesting points that you made there about you know feeling like you were going to be scammed like at eu property solutions that's our, that's a huge barrier that we come across with our clients because we know one of the main you know one of the main reasons that the people are in, in their situation is because they have been wrong from the very very beginning so that's why we always try and as, as you said they're put you in the right direction of speaking to other clients who we've had that are experiencing the same issue as you that we've reached a settlement for because we feel like that really you know would, would you say that did you did you avail of that service did you feel like that put you at ease speaking to other clients yeah absolutely unfortunately i didn't really speak to a client that was in uh, that was based in cyprus but uh -huh. I, I spoke to a couple of spanish clients that you had um very very similar situations but you know ha having a pool of Cyprus um, clients is will be of real value with you, and I hope you know that I could be of value to anybody. And and as I said before, um, having gone through the process, um, being an owner, investing in Cyprus, um, and uh, you know, I, I'm more than happy to help anybody else um, mm -hmm. uh, be in the same situation as, as as ourselves. Yeah, and we and we were so grateful that you do do that for us. You know, anybody watching this webinar today. Um, whether you are a past client, a current client, or maybe a potential client, um, we always give you the chance to speak to people, whether it is in Spain or Cyprus or somewhere else in Europe. And Mike does, he might have actually spoken to somebody that's watching here today. So we, we are very, very grateful because it does give clients that extra ease to know that, you know, I'm not alone. And, you know, they've reached a settlement for them, so that they'll do this, the same thing for me. In terms of then your journey with us, um, after you had appointed our services, do, did you feel like our, our team were helpful? Did they give you updates throughout the whole process? Yeah, my particular um, case manager um, was really, really on the ball. Um, the, the biggest thing for me, the biggest um, uh, sort of like uh, breath of fresh air was being able to pass all my problems on to, on to her. Mm -hmm. um, when I mean pass my problems on, I mean um, I refuse to part, part of the deal of, um, of, of taking up engaging with EU property solutions is I didn't want to I didn't want to uh, communicate with the developers or the bank whilst I was going through this process. Mm -hmm. And EU property solutions were fantastic. They took on ownership of my problems um for the whole period that um they were looking you know trying to fight my case so one of the big things that i found was literally forgetting having an opportunity to forget about all the issues and the matters that were surrounding knowing that it, it was being managed in good hands mm -hmm. okay that you know that that's it, it just it's so great to hear that and i'm sure that because a lot of people do think that even though they appoint our services they still think that they're going to have to be in correspondence or in communication with the lender, with the developer. And, you know, that all stops from the minute you come on with us and um, that completely stops. And as you say, it just takes you away from that situation because sometimes it can get all too consuming. So that's why we always like to just take the client away and our legal team then deal with it. So one of the, one of the most important questions, once you knew that we had achieved a settlement, how how did you how did you and your wife and your family feel and how does it feel now being able to move on you know knowing that that part of your life is, is no yeah. longer with you? 
Yeah, I mean, it, you know, it, it was a marathon. It's not a sprint, so please, please be prepared for that because, um, you know, the best, you know, the greatest, uh, greatest will in the world. These things certainly out in Cyprus take its time um, when you're dealing with all the secret authorities, anyway. Um, but when we got told, it was a bit of sweet feeling for the family, certainly for my wife and I. Don't get me wrong, we've invested a lot of money into into the property, and we gutted, and we're, you know, um, you know, we're really, really 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 sad that it all just went you know down the down the drain mm. um but the the sweet feeling is um you know we have got no more troubles we we you know <clears throat> that whole weight's gone off our shoulders we can move move on move forward with our lives and not feel threatened by um you know the Cypriot authorities um and when i mean threatened i'm talking you know the threats do come in of you know repossession of your own uk properties etc and assets etc etc so yeah, yeah. bit sweet feeling but a huge huge um moment of celebration i think yeah absolutely and then in terms of so anybody that's watching here today and that are experiencing those types of issues maybe they're you know only starting out and they're thinking i need to seek help what would you say? What would you say to them if they thought, you know, I'm alone, nobody else has gone through this, and I nearly have to hold this burden because there there are no options? What would you say to them? Yeah, I would say, you know, across the board, um, does doesn't matter who you are, whether you're a serious, a serious, serious investor in properties, you've got properties everywhere, here, there, and everywhere. There are people that fall foul um, to the Cyprus, um, what I call scam, and I could call it scam because I have literally been scammed um so hold your head up high there's there's light at the end of the tunnel doesn't matter um how much debt you are how many properties you've got if you want to get out of it um you know there is light at the end of the tunnel absolutely mike that is just you know i'm, I'm sure people watching here and listening today are gonna feel you know a, a wee bit assured and reassured thinking that I have just heard from somebody because it's very good that we say all this and, you know, we do say we're industry experts and we know that we are. But whenever you actually hear from a client's perspective of how it started versus how it actually ended and now you are, you know, free to move on with your life. And as you say, you're not being pursued. There's no aggressive emails, no aggressive letters coming to your house. And you just a lot of people say whenever they're experiencing these types of issues, they can't sleep at night because they're nearly thinking, what am I going to get in the post tomorrow? So it just, it gives us great pride to know that we take all of that away. You know, we take all of that away and a person can move on with their life. But I do hope that anybody watching here today has found this really, really helpful. I know it's great for me to, to hear from clients like yourself on how um, EU Property Solutions does come along and change your life. So Mike, I really, really do want to thank you um, for me and the whole team. So thank you very, very much for coming on here today on this webinar and sort of spreading, spreading your story and letting us know how you get on with EU Property Solutions. And look, big smile on my face. You know, <laughs> Thanks, smile on your face. Um, yeah, like 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 I said, um, it's something. It's not going to happen overnight. Um, but trust me, it's something that it's probably the best. I just wish, I just wish we looked at this option before mm -hmm. all the other options that we tried before, and yeah. we did everything as we said. As I said, you know, we tried the barrister route. We tried working as a working group, trying to get through it. You know, all of us in the same situation. And we tried dealing direct with the bank and the developers, and we were just getting so 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 much pushback. Mm -hmm. um, it kind of, and as you say, um, you know, we know a lot of people that have really, really um, been stressed out and mm -hmm. um, been made ill as a mm -hmm. result of no fault of their own. Absolutely, no, absolutely. I couldn't, I couldn't agree more with what you've just said. But it's people like you, you know, that come on and share your story that really do that, you know, you are raising awareness of the issues. You're bringing them to life. And as you say, you know, you were scammed and it's just, you know, you were very proactive in your approach. You knew that you had to do something about it. And yeah, although a lot of people think, you know, yes, you were wrong. As you said, I, you couldn't just sit back because it was going to get worse and worse and more, worse. So, you know, kudos to you as well for making that step. And because we always say picking up the phone and calling EU Property Solutions is one of the biggest steps that, that people do take because it is such an, you know, this is a property that they bought. You know, a lot of people buy this and think this is going to be them for their retirement. And as you say, you know, it's bittersweet because, you know, you nearly fell in love with the property. You thought this was going to be you for the rest of your life. And once, whenever you came back to the UK and it started to go wrong, it, it, it does hurt. It's, it is an emotional aspect yeah, to it. Yeah. 
But Mike, honestly, thank you so, so much for coming on today. And I really hope everybody found it helpful. Thank you. Pleasure.